Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is part one of my round at I Sierra Star golf, golf Course in Mammoth, California. Real cool part about this course is it sits at an average of about 8,000 feet in elevation, so the ball really does fly out here. So let's get started in the video. First hole is a straightaway par four, 374 yards. I'm hitting two on off the first tee. And you're gonna see, I don't hit a lot of drivers in today's video, just cause the ball is flying out there. So I hit a pretty good drive on the first hole, leaving myself just 95 yards into the screen. So that means I hit my two one, about 280 yards, which is a lot further than I would normally hit it. And also, as you can see, I fixed the camera angles. So you guys should have a lot better camera angles. And just a quick explanation on that. Oh. Yeah, I thinned that one well over the green and couldn't find it. So I just ended up taking a drop behind the green. So fourth shot here, a little chip from just behind the green. And the greens, the greens were in good shape today. So you'll be able to see in a, cup, in a couple of the holes. Um, so we ended up doing this playing two putt max. So there's going to be a few holes where I hit some putts that don't go in, but they still count as they went in. I'll explain that more once we get to it. So my putt for bogey was just a bad putt. Missed out on the high side, so first old double. Not the way you want to start off. But we got a lot of golf left, so here we go. Second hole, part three, 118 yards. Very short. I'm hitting a 54 degree wedge here. And there's a big ridge right through the center of this green so i'm really looking at trying to carry this ball over that ridge and get it to spin pretty close so i hit that and it's going right at the pin i thought this was gonna be a couple feet away see the environment reaction it's it was pretty good um what ended up happening was the ball did spin back down that ridge and you can see the greens there just they're not in good shape so we did play a two putt max today so, looking at this putt uphill, about 30 feet, just trying to make sure to get it there was really the big thing for me. And this ball actually started rolling back on me as I hit it, so unfortunately just kind of lost my focus and left it short. But this is what I'm talking about where we're playing two putt max, so even though I still have about six feet here, on the scorecard in my head I'd already made this putt. So, I'm just hitting this putt essentially for practice, and I know some of you guys might not like that, but in the condition the condition on the greens, it was just, if I was not playing two putt max, it would have been difficult to really score. So here we are on the third hole, 413 yard par four, dog leg right, and once again I'm hitting a two iron. And... The reason I'm not hitting drive here is one, because it's a very narrow tee shot. And two, with the elevation, this whole dog legs at about, the very ends of probably 280 on the left. So if I hit driver, I very easily would have gone through the fairway. So two line here, hit it pretty well up the right hand side. And you'll see when I get up there how far this ball went. I have 95 yards into the this front pin location. So that went about 300 yards with the two iron. That's one of, by far the longest two irons I've hit. So this is the second shot, 95 yards downhill, water on the right. Luckily the pin was front left. So I'm just trying to play this 90 and still wasn't quite used to the elevation. So this ball landed even with the pin and just kind of bounced out a little long and left, but I still have a putt from yeah, just off the green. Fun putt. So here we are, birdie putt from about 30 feet. And you'll see, if you watch closely, the how when this ball rolls, it just bumps and it's not staying on line very well. So, rolled it pretty well and this ball almost hit a pump and went back in at the last second. So, able to tap in for a par there. So, back to back pars, stay at two over and move on to the fourth hole. Fourth hole, 440 yard par four, slight dog leg left. And once again, I'm hitting another two iron. So there's a bunker on the right at about 290, which I'm just trying to keep it a little right of and just 
really big thing here was to get the ball in play. I knew if I got a ball in play here, I'd have a very simple shot into the screen. And yes, my sunglasses did fall off my hat there. I did bleed this one out just a touch, right? So I was watching it closely, but I did see the ball land in play. So off to the second shot. Now, I have 150 yards in. I'm hitting a pitching wedge on the second shot. And it's really weird. This rough did not look like it was going to be very tough to hit out of. But if you ended up in the wrong spot, it was very difficult to hit out of. It was just kind of thick. And, yeah, I'll, I'll let my reaction sum up that shot. Um, I did get very lucky on this. There's a bunker short of the green that my ball just carried over and somehow ended up stopping on the green pin high. So I got about a 20-footer here for birdie. Really, really fortunate after that second shot. So the reason for the bad greens is, this is what I was told at least, the more snow they get, the actually the better the greens will be. So this year they had a very little, bleh, sorry, they had a very little amount of snow. So what ended up happening is the weather conditions were able to get to it, and that in turn messed up the greens, which I found pretty interesting. So now we're on to the fifth hole, still plus two. Uh, par four, dog leg right, 424. I had played this course the day before just to kind of see where everything was. And I hit three wood yesterday, and that was definitely too much club. So once again, hitting another two on off the tee. Um, trying to aim it at the bunker on the left, which is about 270 off the tee, and just work it a little right. And I did not catch this one very well which actually turned out in my favor because it was heading right at that bunker on the left side of the fairway. So sometimes your misses actually turn out better than what you were hoping. So I have 167 in to this back pin location. And with the elevation, I was playing it at about a club to a club and a half, just depending on how I was feeling. So I'm playing this at about a club more or a club less than normal. So missed a full nine iron and just block this one outright. And yeah, I just got actually very lucky. This ball clipped the tree and just that short of the greenside bunker. So I don't know yep. if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but I'll take it. And you can see how much this ball is actually sitting down in this rough. It's only 25 yards on the flag and it was a, not a great lie of this. And here's something I really had to get better at is using something other than a 58 degree wedge around the greens. So I've become very dependent on hitting a 58 degree wedge around the greens. That for a shot like that where I probably don't really need to hit a 58 degree wedge. Uh, I don't know how to do it, so I have to resort back to the 58 degree wedge. That's something I definitely need to get better at. So here's the put for par and with these greens, anything outside five feet was almost a for sure miss. And <laughs> I actually surprised myself there. I almost made that putt. So did end up tapping in for bogey. So not a great hole, but moving on to the sixth hole, which is par four. Hardest hole on the course, 469 yards. And first hole where I can hit driver. So there's a couple of bunkers out here on this hole that really squeezed the landing area. But with the elevation, I was fairly confident I could carry all of them. Not only about 300 to carry. And hit this one pretty well and just got a little out ahead of it and bled off to the right. So I was kind of watching it. I thought I saw this down in the fairway. Um, little as I know, it didn't end up there. So we get up, I get up there and I find my ball just right of the cart path and I'm really just trying to struggle, making sure I don't hit the trees on my backswing. So 144, hitting a pitching wedge, and it's just kind of touch heavy. I played it for a flyer, and it's kind of touch heavy. The ball did end up in the bunker shore of the green, but as you can see, I did take it out. These bunkers, at least on this hole, were all ground under repair. You can see the sign right behind me. Although, I kind of wish I was actually in the bunker. Would have made a much easier shot so just kind of taking a second and here we go 20 yards to a pin that is about three pace three or four paces over this bunker and just had to play along and make sure i had a putt at par 
So I have about a 20 footer here for par. And you can see just right behind me, that's what a lot of the greens look like. This is actually one of the better greens on the course. But it's really unfortunate that the greens weren't in great shape. It's been about a month though since I played there. So they should be in better shape now. And rolled this putt pretty well and just kept hitting bumps and I guess on the last hole, anything outside about five or six feet was almost a for sure miss. So here we are on the seventh hole, 203 yards, and I'm hitting a seven iron. This pin is middle, and playing it the day before, I did see that there is a big uh, a bowl right behind this pin. So just trying to keep this ball a little short left of the pin. And yeah. That was not a good swing, and I actually had to cut that video early. Yep. Um, so, this ball actually flew a lot further than I thought. So, I have 30 yards in, just off the cart path, and this chip actually released quite nicely, and I didn't seem too happy with it, but it was actually a pretty nice chip, one of my best ones of the day so far. So, I just have about a two-footer for par, and something about this course that... I think it's very different from other courses I've played. It's just really how narrow it is. I've played narrow courses before, especially out in North Carolina, but this course just seemed really narrow. And someone like me who doesn't always hit their drives the straightest really made it challenging. So here we're on the eighth hole, the first par five of the day, 525 yards. So just looking at giving this ball a rip. And I did just bleed this ball out to the right um, did end up staying in play, just catching a fairway bunker. So, wasn't quite happy, really wanted to get myself a chance to attack the screen too, but you could see just ending up in the bunker. I'm just laying up here with the pitching wedge. Did not have any chance of getting to the screen too, at being 230 out. Here's a good layup here, just getting it back out in play. All I really needed. So now I'm 110 yards in, I'm hitting a 58 degree wedge. And thinking about it now, 58 degree wedge was not the correct club. Really should have taken more club and tried to swing easy. Because even at normal altitude, um, getting a 58, 110 yards is a stretch. So, end up coming a little short. On the green, they'll have about a 30 footer here for birdie. And really, with these greens, I'm just looking at trying to roll this ball anywhere within five or six feet and just give myself a chance of par really not thinking about making this at all so roll this on a good line just right out of the hole and it's gonna be hard for you to see but that ball actually went in so 30 footer for birdie on the eighth hole only par five on the front nine really did feel good so it was really nice to make a birdie there so and one thing i did not note about this course or video a lot of is the views mammoth there are so many nice views around this course especially at the uh, off the tees so unfortunately i did not get very good videos of those here on the ninth hole 423 yard par four and once again i'm hitting two iron and really just trying to feel like i'm on this hole i was really trying to just hit something straight and i just overturned it left just a touch as i said really narrow fairways and so it did just end up in the pine straw to the right, or sorry, to the left. So, just laying up here, I wasn't going to be able to hook it around those trees, so it's the 58 degree wedge, and just trying to get it back out on the fairway. So nothing, nothing yeah. bad there, just back out on the fairway. Okay. Now here, I have 36 yards to a front pin that is just over that bunker. And this is, <laughs> yeah, I'll explain after I hit the shot. I really tried to play the hero shot here and put something close. And you can see this ball ended up over the back of the green. So, there's times where you can hit a hero shot and there's times where you can't. And there's definitely a time where I shouldn't have tried to go for it. So, long putt here. Really trying to roll this one close and had great pace and really line wise, it was about the best I could do with all the bumps. So, I have about a five footer here for pot, or sorry, for bogey. And really, really don't want to miss this pot. 
especially after coming up a birdie, don't want to give too much back. So, just trying to roll it right in the center of the cup with some pace. And I was able to roll it in. So, that is a plus 439 on the front nine. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.